How's it going? My name is AJ and today I'm going to help improve your shoulder health in 10 minutes or less. This routine is specifically designed for anyone who deals with clicking, snapping, popping, general tightness, aches, or pains within the shoulder joint. It's easy to follow along and no special equipment is necessary. Before we get into the routine, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to make sure you stay up to date on new videos. And if at any point you feel dizzy, uncomfortable, or pain during the routine, stop and consult a medical professional. With that out of the way, Let's dive in. You will need a couple of tools before getting started. I'm using a PVC pipe and lacrosse ball, but you can use pretty much anything that resembles these two objects. I have some suggestions listed here if you need a little inspiration. Any of these should work just fine. First, let's get a little warmed up with some forward scoops. I like to think about cupping my hand, reaching back as far as possible, grabbing a handful of air, and driving the hand forward and down with each repetition. This will help get more blood flow to the shoulders and upper limb. After doing 12 to 15 repetitions, switch and do the other arm. You may notice that one arm is a little stiffer or more awkward than the other. This is pretty common and may require a little more attention on the weaker side. Don't be afraid to throw in a few more repetitions if you need to, to balance out the limbs. Next, let's do double forward swings. Keeping your elbows slightly bent, drive them back and forward 12 to 15 times. You should feel a brief stretch in the chest and anterior shoulder each time you drive the elbows back. Think about quick movement during each repetition, but don't force things. Next up is the alternating torso twist chop for 12 to 15 repetitions. During this move, you are essentially doing a lateral karate chop. Try to keep your toes pointed forward and focus on a straight arm as you twist your torso from one side to the other. This may feel a bit awkward at first, but it should start to make some sense the more you practice. Following that is the alternating torso twist scapular reach for 12 to 15 repetitions. Essentially, you are alternating left and right shoulder touches from both the front and back sides of your torso. It will likely be a bit harder to touch your shoulder from the back compared to the front, but this is normal. Keep your toes pointed forward and don't be afraid to twist your torso for a little extra stretch. Swimmer hugs are next for 10 to 15 repetitions. Channel your inner Michael Phelps by bending over at the hips, bringing your arms back as far as possible, propelling them forward, and finishing by giving yourself a big hug. This should give you a great stretch of your chest and anterior shoulder and give you a new respect for how mobile elite swimmers need to be. This is all I have for the warm up, but as a bonus, try these shoulder rotations in opposite directions. One arm rotates in one direction while the other goes in the opposite direction. This is way harder than it looks and put your coordination to the test. Aim for 10 to 15 repetitions of each or until you get too frustrated and want to move on. For this next part, you'll need your stick, so make sure you have it handy. We're going to start with the pole external rotation stretch. Hold the stick like you would throw a javelin. Bring the back end of the stick towards the ground and behind your shoulder. Reach back with your free hand and grab it. From there, bring your elbow outwards and try to pull the front end of the pole upwards. If you're doing this correctly, you should feel a really deep stretch within the shoulder joint. On a scale of one to 10, one being no discomfort and 10 being agony, you should be no more than a six. Hold this for 30 to 45 seconds. And then let's move on to the pole bicep stretch. Watch closely as I grab the pole using an over under grip. This can be a little bit tricky, so don't get frustrated if you struggle getting into this position. Bring your bottom hand down and behind your back and pull forward using your other hand to eventually get into this position. If done correctly, you should feel a really deep stretch in your shoulder and bicep. Hold for about 30 to 45 seconds and make sure to keep breathing during this unexpectedly intense stretch. Keeping your grip in the same position, move the pole directly in front of you. This is the pole forearm stretch, also known as eagle grip. Although this stretches your forearm mostly, it's important to note that these muscles are indirectly connected to your shoulder joint. Having mobile forearms takes some much needed stress off your shoulder when performing many overhead movements. 
and let's finish it off with the pull shoulder flexion stretch. Bring the pole behind your back while keeping one arm down at a 90 degree bend and one arm up at a 90 degree bend. Have a close look at my hand position as the pole runs vertical just outside of the head. From here, pull the top of the pole forward while keeping your bottom arm in the 90 degree position. If you are doing this correctly, you should feel another really deep stretch within the shoulder joint, somewhat similar to the first stretch we did. Keep breathing and maintain the six out of 10 intensity that was discussed earlier. With one side done, let's shake it out and do the same thing on the other side beginning with the pole external rotation stretch. Hold the stick like you would throw a javelin, bring the back end of the stick towards the ground and behind your shoulder. Reach back with your free hand, grab it, bring your elbow out and try to pull the front end of the pole up. If you are looking for a challenge, see if you can get a little bit further with each breath. Next is the pole bicep stretch. Grab the pole using an over under grip. Bring your bottom hand down and behind your back and pull forward using your other hand to eventually get into this position. You should feel the stretch in your shoulder and bicep if done correctly. Keep breathing and hold for between 30 to 45 seconds. Next is the pole forearm stretch. Again, although this stretches your forearm, these muscles are indirectly connected to your shoulder joint. Having healthy and mobile forearms takes a lot of stress off your shoulder when performing a lot of overhead movement. After 30 to 45 seconds, finish with the pole shoulder flexion stretch. Bring the pole behind your back, one arm down at a 90 degree bend and one arm up at a 90 degree bend. Pull the top of the pole forward while keeping your bottom arm in the 90 degree position. You should feel another very deep stretch within the shoulder joint, somewhat similar to the pole external rotation stretch we did earlier. Keep breathing and maintain the 6 out of 10 intensity. With that out of the way, let's change gears. Grab your lacrosse ball or substitute and join me on the ground. The first move is going to be an internal rotation arm wrestle stretch. Take the ball and place it near the back of your arm or shoulder. Make a 90 degree bend with your elbow and try to bring your hand as close to the ground as possible. If this is too intense for you, you can take the ball away and do it without. Try to get your hand a little bit closer to the ground with each repetition. After 30 to 45 seconds, place the ball behind your shoulder and arm, roll onto your back and perform this quarter snow angel drill. Keep your arms straight palm of your hand facing up and wrist as close to the ground as possible. Focus on slow controlled range of motion, deep breathing, and feel that muscle and other connective tissue loosen up with each repetition. You should be at about a 6 out of 10 on the discomfort scale. Next let's switch it up and do the other side starting with the arm wrestle drill. Take your ball and place it near the back of your arm or shoulder. Make a 90 degree bend with your elbow and bring your hand as close to the ground as possible. You may feel one side a little more stiff than the other. Again, this is normal. Don't be afraid to spend a little bit more time on the weaker side if you think it requires some extra attention.
let's finish off the routine with the quarter snow angel. Keep your arms straight, the palm of your hand should be upwards, and your wrist should be as close to the ground as possible. Emphasize slow, controlled range of motion, deep breathing, feel that muscle and tendons and other connective tissue loosen up with each repetition. Congratulations, you've made it through the entire routine. If you have suggestions for future routines you'd like me to guide you through, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and stay strong.